Hey, hey, here we are. We're walking to the starting line of our half marathon today. We're four minutes behind. Yep. Uh, starting a little late. Parking situation. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. And a porta potty situation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Weather's perfect. We're excited. Thanks for joining. Stick around. Okay, we were literally the last people to cross the starting line. There's one person behind us. And for some reason, a car behind us. I don't know where they think they're going. This is weird. <laughs> Well, we just passed uh, mile one. It is so humid. Oh my gosh. But at least there's no sun. Yeah, it's overcast, so that's gonna help a lot. It's supposed to get up to like 70 degrees Fahrenheit. A little warmish, but nice. Oh man. Hey, for those of you who have watched some of our videos, we're passing the park where uh, Pedro and little Bob hang out. The, donkey. the donkeys. Yeah, he's he's pacing us. Is that right? <laughs> okay, so we have a llama laughing at us, by the way. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, bud. Hey, we're mile six, almost halfway. All right, so we just passed the halfway point. Yeah, we're doing all right. The humidity is really oppressive though. We actually have a breeze right now though. Yeah. It feels okay right this second. Okay, but we here we go. A, hey buddy. Oh, we have a friend. Hey bud. Hey bud. Okay, lead the way, pal. He's been with us for the last like two or three miles. Yeah, so, so little country, country dog. Country dog. Outside. 
seeing the sights. <laughs> you ready to go, pal? Okay, let's Come go. Come on, buddy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Car. Bye, buddy. Okay, so we are at mile 11. So just a little over two left. Still smiling? Yeah. Yeah, still smiling. We got a breeze finally, so the humidity oh isn't God. as oppressive. Oh, it's hard to breathe, you know? And of course your sweat doesn't help. But, you know, overall, we're doing okay. Oh, yeah. We have a pretty good pace. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot to talk about when we do the wrap up. But uh, almost done. yeah, almost done, and lots of really, really nice people out mm -hmm. cheering us on. All the volunteers, really, really nice uh, setup, well run. We're having a really good time. So, okay, a little bit more to go. All right, we have about half a mile to go. And it's sort of almost all downhill. Uh, we're kind of... It was hillier than I remembered. I remembered it being a hilly run last year. Yeah. It was pretty hilly. Yeah. So I think we're gonna, Ooh. I think we're gonna pick it up and finish strong. Yay, finish line. Yay. Remember, stick around, we're gonna have a recap. And uh, thanks a lot. Uh, if you think about it and you haven't, subscribe. If you like this video, hit like. Remember, we post at least we try to, every week. All right, see you at the recap. Thanks for being out here. That's it. Nice. Hey, 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 pizza ordered. <laughs> uh, week 24 of our marathon training. Yeah. Week 24. Uh, we have uh, three things really to cover with you and, you know, uh, well, and some other things, but three main things we want to talk about. First of all, thanks a lot for joining. Thanks for watching. That's not one of the things, but that, thank that you. Is not, uh, thank you to our uh, new subscribers. Thanks for watching. Remember... We do our best to upload every week. Hit subscribe, hit like. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, we had a very weird week. <laughs> very weird week. So Laura Indeed. went on a, uh, a business trip. Uh, so she was gone all week. All week long, from Tuesday morning to Friday afternoon. Yeah, late Friday, actually. And so mm. uh, we didn't do our, our weekly run. We didn't, we didn't do a midweek run. You got in one strength workout. 
I didn't do anything. I did a core workout. Uh, so our yeah, sticker just, uh, chart... No stickers for this week, basically. Yeah, it's looking Half a sticker for you and yeah. one sticker for today's run. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. So it was kind of a weird week. Yeah. And the thing is, you know, we were talking about it during the run today, which we'll, uh, we'll cover in a bit. Um, you go out of town and you try your best to eat well. But, I tried so hard. But even the, the best restaurant food, mm -hmm. it's just, you know... Yeah, uh, even a salad <laughs> somewhere is going to have more oil in their dressing than I put in my dressing yeah. that I make. And yeah. delicious, crunchy crouton. Little bread pieces. Butter. <laughs> so, you know, it was, it was, it was uh, slow going for you at the beginning because you Oh, said, my legs felt like lead. Yeah. They were so heavy. I was like, I don't think I'm going to do this. So I, I went in today. By the way, today was the Georgetown Half Marathon. Right. Second, second annual. Second annual. We did it last year. Mm -hmm. Um, a different route from last year, too. Slightly different. Yeah. I think this is actually the route they were going to have last year. It was a last-minute switch uh -huh. up to have it start at the brewery, uh -huh. I remember. Uh -huh. I think that's why they changed it to December. It was also, originally when we signed up for it, it was scheduled in November. And they had to move it because of something going uh, on. So okay. I think something okay. else happens, anyway, like at the school or whatever. So we started at uh, <laughs> Georgetown High School. We ran... In the middle of nowhere, we saw lots of houses that we would really like to buy in the middle of nowhere. We kind of want to live in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Someday. Someday. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I already looked them up on Trulia. <laughs> They're on my mental, my mental maybe list. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, we just need to win the lottery. Anyway. Yeah, we need to play the lottery. Oh, right. Yeah, wouldn't it be weird if wouldn't we came into Wouldn't it be weird if we just came months? into like a million dollars? We've been testing out yeah, fate. Yeah. <laughs> saying that sort of thing see if maybe it happens yeah. all right anyway so the weird week was kind of oh uh, well, it was kind of weird right yeah. uh and then you know you were sitting on a plane for you know hours. four hours yesterday yeah so yeah. it, it kind of it kind of changed the dynamic yeah. of, of prepping for didn't really get to hydrate at all yesterday because you know hmm. i don't want to pee the whole time i'm on the plane <laughs> so it's you know it was just not our usual yeah. prep does anybody and please respond in the comments does anybody fit in a in those uh, airplane bathrooms this one felt even smaller than usual like it was i had a hard time really? even just like turning around in there it was so tight i'm surprised i don't pee all over myself when i use those things because i'm like anyway <clears throat> anyway so that was that was part of a, a, the weirdness of prepping for a half marathon secondly mm -hmm. we uh we had to replace our osmo pocket you know that's the little camera with the mechanical gimbal that you know we use uh, we've had it for uh, three years. Yeah, we bought it towards the end of training for our first marathon. Uh -huh. um, and it's it's, it's awesome. Wonderful. It's awesome for us. It's awesome. It's it's a uh, light. Um, it it does a fantastic job, and it's got Quite all these stabilizing. Little, uh, I mean, really, really. But over the course of the last maybe couple of months, uh, it has been um, wobbly, and it vibrates in my hand or when I'm not even recording. It's on. And I contacted uh, Osmo support, and they were great, uh, but they couldn't help uh, with anything other than saying, well, it needs to be repaired. Um, <clears throat> so with that said, looking at the repair cost, because it's out of warranty, uh, we decided to replace it with a new Osmo Pocket, and it's the version 2. And so, uh, yeah, it's, and it's awesome. And the footage today like totally proved our... Uh, our feelings that uh, our original Osmo Pocket just wasn't uh, smooth like it used to be. Mm -hmm. uh, but because this is version two, it has some new buttons. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so uh, I had awesome footage of us uh, uh, starting the race. Uh, but uh, it was of David's chest. It was on my chest. So. <laughs> it, it's a, it's just a little different. I got yeah, the hang of it though. Okay. I got yeah. the hang of it. Yeah, you yeah. could have recorded the whole thing like that, so that's great. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> or I could have been like on my ear, you know, kind of like when we had that. Uh, oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, we tried for a while how we ended up with the Osmo Pocket, which, by the way, we call Tiny Droid. I'll yeah. tell that that story in just a minute. Yeah. But oh, when we were cycling through, like figuring out how to record these runs. We got a GoPro mm -hmm. and we got like a, what was it, a harness? Yeah, what was, was it? it was like a, a shoulder harness? Yeah. And that was like <laughs> the was most the redonk it was worst footage worst. ever. It was just <laughs> doing this. Imagine a camera doing this and like what you're going to pick up. It was, it was really crazy. Yeah. Tiny droid. Yeah. So we were walking through um, Galaxy's Edge once at Disneyland, mm -hmm. like not too long after we got, yeah. after we got the yeah, Osmo Pocket. And we're walking around <laughs> and you know, the cast members there are... They're always so spot on. And I think particularly in Galaxy's Edge, there's like 
they're a different level of yeah. in character. Oh yeah. And uh, this cast member walks by and she goes, hello, tiny droid. And then like keeps walking. So ever since then, yeah. Osmo Pocket has been tiny droid. Tiny droid. Does. So yeah. well, when you hear it say so tiny droid, we may say know. tiny droid. Yeah. And uh, to any, uh, any Galaxy's Edge cast members out there, bright suns. Anyway, so... <laughs> So anyway, that, that was. <laughs> I've got my nerd card. Yeah, I know. Uh, so, so uh, part of another another weird part of the run of day is you know I'm 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 hoping that I'm using the new uh, uh, tiny droid. Uh, it was really nice. Uh, it's another. Kind of, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, well, the other thing too. The, no, the no. Thing, did you have it? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, you go. No, no. I'm switching gears. You go. <laughs> um, it has better microphones, which is really nice. Just, uh, you, you can actually... Uh... <laughs> that's what I sound like sometimes. I don't really know. Yeah. Anyway. Not anyway. today. So that's, uh, that's the second uh, main topic we want to cover. So I uh, hope you enjoy your footage. It, it was really nice. The third weird thing about this uh, whole experience today. So it was, it's, I mentioned it started at Georgetown High School. So right. I was like, there's going to be plenty of parking. Oh, yeah. No problem. It's like 15 minutes from our house. Yeah, no yeah, big yeah. deal. Yeah, we went for it. So, you know, we had our usual morning. We woke up way early because 4 a.m. We like to take it really slow when we're eating our breakfast. Coffee. Crossword. Crossword. Oatmeal. Take Millie for banana. a walk. Yeah, so we, we did all that stuff. Uh -huh. We got Millie out for her walk a little bit late, as per usual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we left ten, like between 10 and, oh, it wasn't that late. Yeah, it was 6.40. No way. Yeah. Well, no, we couldn't have gotten there in 10 minutes. Yeah, we, we got there in 12 minutes. We left then much later than I thought we <laughs> yeah. left, and much later than we planned to leave. Yeah, so. yeah, that's why I took the highway. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, so we planned to leave at 6.15, race started at 7. We apparently left at 6.40. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we pull up, and there are plenty of parking lots that are not connected. So we pulled into one and it's completely full. Yeah. Okay, great. Pull out, pull into another one. It's completely full. Okay, pull out. We finally find our way to a parking lot that has some parking spaces in it, which it turns out is more than half a mile away from the start line. Yeah. So we like got out. We're not familiar with Georgetown High School. Yeah. We didn't go to school there. No. We realized getting back in the car, we're like, oh, we could have gone that way. <laughs> we saw people come from that way. I'm like, I bet that way is a lot faster. So yeah. we walked like all the way around the school and get over here. Yeah. And um, obviously we had to use the restroom because that's what we have to do uh, before here, a race. And here's the deal. There were uh, over 400 uh, people signed up to run. And that's just the half marathon. Uh, 5K also started at 7.30. Yeah. So there were like, there were people. So let's say there are 500 people signed up to run, at least 500 people. And they only had 12 porta potties. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine if it's not... <laughs> one minute before race starts <laughs> yeah. so we yeah. we walk up it's like shoot that's a big line yeah. well we gotta do it gotta do so it. um by the time we made it through it did actually move pretty fast what because i think everybody that was in the line was like oh it's yeah. starting starting time we gotta go yeah. so we made it in we made it out and then uh we looked at our watches it was 704 yeah. we're like Okay, you know, I haven't heard the race start yeah, yet. I it had started, we just didn't hear it. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. We, so, <laughs> there was nobody there. Was, there was somebody there. Walk all the way down, I'm like, well, okay, there's a photographer, great, yeah. just like standing there, ready yeah. to take some pictures of the right. stragglers. And so we like, we started a little, started a little running. late. We were all alone. Well, there, there was a there was a, a nice woman with us. Who was in line in the bathroom with us. Th there was nobody, there was nobody, nobody there, man. It's like, uh... So we kind of like yeah. jogged across. She was, the... And she was very sweet. She was like, oh, what's, what's y'all's pace? Because we, you know, we've been chatting in the, in the line for the bathroom. And we both hey, said... what pace do you run? And we told her honestly how slow we run. She's so like, okay, cool. Let's so see. Yeah. And she's we like, never saw off. Her again. like, yeah. Um, but we literally, literally and I say that we literally yeah. were the last. We were the last ones. People I looked just... back, there was one other person that I saw. So we were like almost dead last. So that was kind of weird, right? Because, you know, at a, at a start of any race, at a start, all the people there kind of like, you know, pumps you up. You get the adrenaline going. Mm -hmm. you're all like, mm -hmm. There was no, there was nobody there. It was weird. I mean, absolutely not. But there. we ended up passing, according to the results, what, like 50 people? Yeah, yeah. Not bad for a couple of slow pokes to yeah. not end dead last after yeah. starting dead last. Yeah, so right. that's okay. Yeah. And it was, it was all right. The weather, 
Again, the temperature was really nice, and the overcast Thank God, sky. There was the no light. sun, but it was like ninety degrees humidity, man. So yeah. you know your sweat isn't helping you. Yeah, and I was covered I, in moisture. I, the humidity when it gets that high, I can feel it on my chest. Right, you can't get. Mm -hmm. those I got some rash. weird like heat rash from like my sports yeah, bra and weird. stuff. It yeah. was weird, but overall, it was a, an awesome day. An awesome yeah. day. Uh, we got some, got some uh, pretty good stuff. swag, right? We got these uh, t-shirts, awesome shirts. really pretty and very soft. Mm -hmm. And our medals are really nice. Yeah, very nice. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. I know. See, so we can focus I know. on that. Oh, oh, nice. <laughs> Sweet. So, yeah, it was a good day. Yeah. And then we came home, and I passed out for like two hours because I had a really rough week. Yeah. And um, now we're ordering a pizza. We did eat some sensible food first. We did. We did a very good job. Yeah, though. we did. We had um, like a nice power bowl right, as soon as we got home. Mm -hmm, like chana masala yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, it was really good. And uh, now we're going to eat we're some pizza. pizza. We did also order a salad. Oh, you know, the counters. It's like uh, drinking a Diet Coke while you're eating a candy bar. Yeah. So, so uh, we feel really good. Uh, our pace was very consistent totally normal. for us. Mm -hmm. uh, so, feeling really good this coming week. A week from today, mm. we run 20 plus miles. 20, TBD. Yeah, 21. 21, maybe 20, probably. Yeah. Maybe 22, probably 21. I think what we're going to try to do for that one is see if uh, some friends uh, are available oh, right. to meet us at our destination and do like a destination run. Like try to find a 20 mile route to some brewery somewhere and see if they want to join us for lunch. That'd be awesome. And give us a ride home. So that'll be something different. We yeah. won't be doing the same route we've been doing. Yeah. Um, and we'll, you know, theoretically have some beer. And if it's the brewery, I think I want to get us to, they have good food too. Oh, maybe pizza. Maybe pizza. Uh, that's okay. Yeah. So uh, that's week 24. Check. We're oh there. my gosh. Yeah. So there. one long run. And then we have two, two short runs. Tapers. Like short. They're going to be short. Wait. And then, and then we're heading out. We have a lot to do, by the way. We're still working on clothing. I ran in new pants today, which will now be, I'm pretty sure they'll, they will be, uh, they'll hold up my water bottles appropriately. Oh. So those are now my race day pants. Okay. And I test them on long run. And with just some minor frustration at the beginning, I got it all figured out. So okay. and, and, one uh, step closer. And you started designing our like Tron yeah. vinyl cutouts. Yeah. So, so uh, yeah, last minute. It's just the, way, the way we roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and for anybody who remembers, uh, my motorcycle, uh, remember, was in the shop. Oh, you haven't heard from them. <laughs> oh, you didn't even make a phone call. <laughs> no, no, no. I called and I said, hey, so what's the status? And uh, the reply was, huh? Everybody took the week off, so <laughs> yeah, th this will be the last time, and that's what I said ten years ago when I went there. Yeah, but it's been too long; you forgot. Yeah, this is the last the time. Last time. This is the last time. And I could probably fix the issue that I think. Yeah, but whatever. I don't want to pay a car driver to just, you know bring it back. I don't know. Anyway, See what so they say, uh, maybe. yeah, just an update there, and <clears throat> I mean, this is we're we're there. This is the final, the home stretch. Got to get through the holidays, get through New Year's, and then we're on a plane to Florida, along with lots of other people, to run in this race. We're really excited. We really like hearing from you. Let us know how you're doing. We have got to just, man, like, uh, be ready. This is this is fantastic. Uh, so a week from today, long run. Stick with us. That'll be week twenty-five. Oh, man, this has been awesome. Thanks again for uh, staying in touch. Thanks for letting us know how you're doing. And, uh, you know, it, it was a weird week. Yeah. Some weird stuff. We're glad it's over. <laughs> it's always an adventure with you. We will see you in a week. <laughs>